Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. <laughs> hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Hi everybody, welcome to another Read to me story time. Read to me Miss Tracy story time. I want to thank you all for liking and sharing all the videos. I thank you even more for subscribing. You know, my hair, I've got this alfalfa thing going on today. I don't know what's going on with it, but you know what? I'm just glad to have hair because sometimes my head would get cold. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Um, I've got another great story because you know that's what we do on the Read to Me Miss Tracy Storytime channel. I bring books to life, right? I read stories because I love reading books first and I love to make them kind of come alive. I give voices to the story. Okay, I'm ready. How about you? Okay, let's go. The name of this book is called It's Great to Keep Calm. Yep, very good. I love it. This is from the Let's Get Along series. Good morning, class, said Miss Clayton. We're having a sock puppet show today. The class cheered. Come on, cheer with me. Yay, sock puppet show! They'd never had a sock puppet show before. And Miss Clayton, at, and Miss Clayton added, you'll be making your own sock puppets. The class cheered again. Woohoo! Yes! Woo, 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 woo. Sock puppet, sock puppet, sock puppet. Carly couldn't wait to get started. She loved making art and her parents, and she was good at it, said she was good at it. Good deal. Carly felt certain that she was going to make the best sock puppet in the whole class. Look, this is what she was thinking. See, there's her thought bubbles. Bloop, 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 bling. There's her thought bubble. So she's thinking, hmm, that's what my sock puppet's gonna look like. Carly rushed to the table of art supplies. She took everything except the sheet or the directions that showed her how to put the sock puppet together. See, everybody else is over here getting the direction sheet and She's getting her materials first over here. Carly had never made a sock puppet before, but she was sure that she didn't need pictures like everyone else. That's okay to have confidence, to believe in yourself. After a few minutes, Carly noticed that her puppet's nose wouldn't stay on. She had to add more and more glue. Then the glue leaked through the sock and got all over her hands. Carly frowned and she started all over again. Good work, class, called out Miss Clayton. That puppet looks great, Emily, she added. Everybody admired Emily's pot sock puppet except Carly. Why doesn't mine look like that, Carly thought. Well, everybody's is different, I wonder. Carly yanked a felt eye off her puppet. It was a mess. There was gooey glue all over the puppet's face. And when she tried to make it talk, the sock stuck to her fingers. Ew, yuck, she said to herself. Carly started to feel upset. Her palms were sweaty and her heart was beating fast. Boom, 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 Everybody else had already finished their sock puppets. Not only that, their puppets looked like they belonged in a show. Carly's looked like a soggy, sticky disaster. She couldn't understand why her puppet had gone so wrong. Do you have any ideas why? Could it be because she didn't get the paper in the beginning and got the directions? Maybe. Sometimes you know how to do things and it comes out right, but sometimes you need the directions 
and it's okay. Do you want help? Asked J Jack asked. No, Carly yelled in frustration. I can do it by myself. She was upset with everybody, especially herself. It just wasn't fair. Hmm. Carly tried to pull off the sock so she could start over, but she pulled too hard and it landed in a wet heap on the floor. Oh no! Carly stomped on it. <clears throat> I don't want to make a sock puppet anyway, she said. Oh, Carly, get it together, girl. But Carly did want to make a sock puppet. Her eyes filled with hot tears, you know, when you try to keep them hold back. And she squeezed her hands into fists. Are you okay? Jack asked. I feel like I'm getting everything wrong today, Carly said. Her shoulders shook as she began to cry. Oh, poor Carly. My mom says that if I get upset, I should take deep breaths <sighs> and give myself a hug. Ooh, there you go. Give yourself a hug. Great idea. I do that too every day. Even when I'm feeling good, I still give myself a hug, said Jack. Carly tried it. She took some deep breaths and gave herself a hug. See how she wraps her arms around her? That's what Miss Tracy does. I say it all the time. Hashtag hug yourself, Miss Tracy. <clears throat> I hugged too tight. I almost couldn't breathe. <laughs> Let's do a deep breath. Make a big bubble in your tummy. Make a big bubble in your tummy. Good deep breaths. After a few seconds, she didn't want to cry so much, and she began to relax. I'm sorry I yelled at you, Carly told Jack. If you're feeling better, I can help you, said Jax. Even though I yelled at you, Carly asked. It hurt my feelings, Jack said, but you're still my friend. Everyone loses their temper sometimes. Thanks, Carly said. That was very nice of Jack to help her first, to help, offer to help. And then even after she was kind of mean to him, he still offered her how to, to make her feel better. And then once she felt better, she apologized and, and thanked him for helping her. The, friend, the friends picked up more supplies, and this time, Carly grabbed the instruction sheet. With Jack's help, she made a sock puppet with the proper nose, eyes, and tongue all in the right places. And it looked great! Look at there! Carly hugged Jack. Thanks for helping me calm down, she said. Now I've got a sock puppet, too! Woohoo! Jack and Carly are friends. It was almost time for the show. Carly and Jack went to the stage. Ready? asked Jack. Ready, said Carly. And there they were with their their sock puppets at the show. Cool beans. That's called It's Great to Keep Calm. Yep, I like that story too. How'd you like that, Booker? Be sure to read a story to Booker. You know, Booker is my pet that I, my, well, my pretend pet, my stuffed animal. And he loves for me to read books to him. And sometimes I read to my dog, Tinkerbell. Yep, they like to listen. If you have a cat or a lizard or a hamster, read a story to them. And you know what you also need to do? Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between. In between, 
Scrub them all together. Scrub them all together. Squeaky clean. Wash your hands. Squeaky clean. Yeah, wash your hands every time you eat, you brush, you sneeze, you cough, or you touch your eyeball. <laughs> you really shouldn't be touching your eyeball. That's pretty gross. But anyway, wash your hands, keep, keep the germs, keep yourself safe and clean and healthy and those around you, right? So when you get your books from the I See Me bookstore, www.icme.com, or give them a call, 314-349-1122. Be sure to give them a call and go there with clean hands, right? Give yourself a hug. Great story reading. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Oh, that hug feels good. Now, see you later, alligator in a while. Crocodile, give a hug. Oh, yeah, ladybug, blow a kiss. Ah! Jellyfish, I see you soon. Big baboon walking out the back door. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. See ya, Miss Tracy says. Thank you for sharing and liking and subscribing. Ahala. <laughs>